40 years ago, Lethbridge residents were eagerly watching and reading about Terry Fox and his Marathon of Hope. We watched him run his daily marathons on the Trans-Canada Highway through Quebec and Ontario, raising funds for cancer research and spreading his inspirational message. Sadly, Terry never got to bring his Marathon of Hope to the prairies personally. The spirit and the dedication of the Marathon of Hope still made it to the prairies, starting that fall of 1980 and spring of 1981. The local chapter of the Canadian Cancer Society set up two fundraising events co-hosted with the McDonald's restaurant on Mayor McGrath Drive South. The pledges came pouring in from residents, totaling $9,200. Terry lost his battle with cancer on June 28, 1981, and Canadians held memorial services across the country. Five days after Terry's passing, Lethbridge held its ceremony, officiated by Reverends Larry Hankison and Clifford Crowley in front of City Hall on July 2, 1981, with hundreds in attendance. Lethbridge has a direct connection to Terry Fox and his legacy through his uncle and namesake Terry Fox Sr. and his family. The Foxes have lived in Lethbridge for 42 years now. Terry Sr. has been a dedicated ambassador for the Marathon of Hope since his nephew began the run in 1980. He travels to schools around southern Alberta to promote his nephew's legacy up to 14 different schools in a single year. Other local family members are also familiar faces among run volunteers and organizers in Lethbridge. The Terry Fox Foundation provides many of the tools needed like promotional materials, brand guidelines and rules, t-shirts and merchandise, social media posts and more. Local run organizers recruit volunteers, plan fundraising events, promote the run and other associated events to their community and solicit donations or gifts in kind from community partners to pay for the event. In May 2020, the Terry Fox Foundation decided to hold a virtual Terry Fox run to keep participants safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. The slogan for the 2020 virtual run was, One Day, Your Way. Fundraising and participation took full advantage of online tools to engage Lethbridge residents in this 40-year tradition. Run organizers relied heavily on social media to connect with their community. The Marathon of Hope gave many Canadians renewed hope during the early summer of 2020. Over the decades, Terry Fox's legacy has grown to represent more than just his fight to cure cancer. It has come to represent advocacy, education, hope, courage, tenacity and inclusivity. Terry's enduring legacy pushes Canadians to try, no matter the odds, and always care about others. Terry's life and example teach each generation life lessons about humility and humanity. These lessons have served us in our everyday lives and through the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, thank you for coming today. Um, my name is Bobby Fox. I'm the archives assistant here at the Galt Museum and Archives. And we're here today to talk about our newest archives exhibit, Marathon of Memories, which is the looks at the 40 year, year history of the Lethbridge Terry Fox run. And I'm joined here today by Terry Fox. Um, he is the uncle of Terry Fox, which we'll explain in a little bit. Can you explain the unique relationship you have with Terry Fox? He was named after me, which is you know, a great thing for me. Mm -hmm. I've had cancer twice already, and it was because of my nephew that I'm still here. And I've lost a lot of family members and friends to cancer. And this is another reason why I, I, I got to do this. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is very important. Back in 1980, um, just after Terry had, had unfortunately had to stop running and go back into treatment for his cancer, a bunch of fundraising efforts started to happen. When you told Terry about the fundraising effort of the people in Lethbridge, what was his reaction? Well, he couldn't believe it. He said, how many people live there? And I told him, he said, oh my goodness. You know, he thought uh, for what we did for the run was unbelievable for the size of the city. Yes. 
Yes. What's your favorite memory of Terry? Well, my favorite memory, and I told a lot of people that he was very determined from the day I met him. If I said, Terry, you can't do this or you can't do that, oh boy, he would get his back up. People might think that I'd be stubborn, but no, it's because of the de determination he had. He was born with determination. Oh, he could do anything if he, mind was put to it. Yes. Yeah, I, I, you know, uh, like in sports, he tried all the sports. In fact, some of the coaches said, Terry, come back when you get a little bigger, or a little taller or whatever. But he ended up being their number one because he would try practice, practice, yes. Yeah, he was very, a de very determined boy. Um, we've managed to raise over $470,000 here in Lethbridge from 1980 to this year, in 2020. What are your thoughts about how the citizens of Lethbridge have kept Terry's legacy alive for the last 40 years? Well, I think it's outstanding. I think, you know, uh, just the people that want to come out and help and support the Terry Fox run is just amazing. It's just awesome. You know, and, and a lot of those people come out year after year after year, just, you know, trying their darndest to, to you know, raise funds, raise money to fight cancer. Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. Good. Great. So, thank well, you very well, thank much. Thank you, dear daughter of mine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, I, I should I mention, yeah, 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 um, I, am, I am Terry Fox's daughter-in-law. Um, I married his second youngest son um, about... 17 years ago, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're a lovely addition to the family. That's Thank for sure. you. Yeah, for sure, you're a great Thank help. You. Thank you. Yeah.